Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a smoky brown neutral eye look with natural skin, if you're gonna get me. And also guys, oh my god, also, I have a new background. I thought this would be a great idea and it just looks really cute and the lighting's amazing over here. So without further ado, I will jump on into the video, but um, just something to say to you all, please like this video because I've worked extremely hard on it, especially so please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and press the notify button just so never upload you guys know. And chat me down below, I open to all questions. Let's get on to the video. As I am starting out my eyes, I'm going to quickly fill it in my eyebrows and prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion and I'll be right back. My eyebrows are done. And if you want to know what product I use, they will be linked down in the description. I'm trying to use a mixture of high-end and drugstore in this video. So. As I've already primed my eyes, we're going to jump right in with eyeshadow. So from the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Eyeshadow Palette, I am going to be taking the, the shade Olden all over my lid with a Lydia packing brush. And this is just like a medium tone of brown, just for the lid. And so you can hear a ticking noise, that's actually my clock. Sorry. So for my crease, I'm actually taking this shade here on the same brush, and it's called Earth. It's like a darker shade of that one. I'm going to go right into my crease with the same brush. I was just about to put it on, and then I now caught it. Right, anyway. I'm just putting it right in my crease, like so, just to darken it up a bit, add a bit more contrast. And obviously darken it up a bit more and take in this shade which I think is called Carbon, I don't know, but basically it's just a black and I just put it on my outer first. I want to add a bit of gold so I'm taking my 17 eye crayon in gold and I'm putting it all over my lid and then I'm going to set it with chopper and other one mini. And I'm blending it out with my finger and then I'm going to set it with powder because it will go off otherwise. So I'm taking half baked and chopper just to set my cream gold stick. I love these eyeshadows together. It's looking a bit bare so I'm going to add some liner off camera because I cannot do liner on camera. I know it sounds weird but I just can. So my liner is done, it went better than I thought it would do. So I'm going to head on right to the face and I've already um, prepped my skin. If you want a video on that, I will be done. Most of my face today is drugstore, which I love. So the primer I'm going to use is the collection Cool Rose Illuminating Primer. So I'm going to put this all over my face. Wow, that be all over my face. And it just under my foundation, it just looks really illuminated. Uh, that's what I love that. And for foundation, this is one of my newest foundations that I've got. It's a collection naturally matte foundation in zero two. And then I put it on each one. And it can be a bit dark for me, so um, the primer actually helps. Oh, that was way too much. The primer actually helps to tone it down a bit. But I'm actually just going to. Um, I'm just dabbing it across my face just as some coverage but I want it to be natural and whilst I'm wiping a bit just to get the coverage off. Time for a concealer and my new favourite is actually the natural collection one. Like it's amazing, it's really nice and highlighted. But I need to set my ab triangle under my eyes. I'm gonna add triangles in my eyes on my forehead. I knew I keep it. I keep this bow and my chip and I'm blending out using them. This concealer is just like really nice and highlight. It highlights my face well and it really goes well with this foundation. Oh, and I also added another foundation on top. The Stila. I actually cannot remember what the foundation, the other foundation I use is called. So I can't remember to go up there, but I will in a minute. Or just make it down below. Like the thing I love about this foundation is like it makes you look photoshopped without the actual photoshop. 
So I'm going to powder my whole face to set my makeup by Collection Last Imperfection Powder in 02 Medium and my big fucking... I'm not going to do any baking in this actual tutorial because I want it to look natural, not cakey. So if I let you bake too much, you get cakey. Go in. Even though this is a natural look, we need those cheap things. So I'm going to cream contour today and I take this brush, which I lost the thing for. I'm taking this shade and lightly contouring. So my contour is done and that's as you can I'm blending out my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna dab that. And on to blush, as I want it a bit matte and a bit shimmery, I'm gonna take a matte blush. I take my Revolution blush palette and sugar and spice and my Rota Eats blush brush. And then I'm taking this peachy Cori colour, my cheeping, my <laughs> apples on my cheeks. <laughs> I love this blush because it's so natural. I love it. I wear it to school like every day. It just gives me a nice complexion. As I want a bit more shimmer, I'm going to be taking this nice glittery blush, which is Just going to add it more on my cheek. And now for highlight, I usually take my fan brush, but today I use my finger as I want a natural highlight. So I'm going to start by highlighting the tip of my nose. <gasps> my bulb! Now I look like a light bulb! You don't need a torch when you're in the dark, you got me! So... So I'm going back to my eyeshadow palette and just taking old and on this tinsel little brush going under my eyes and I'm going to add a little chopper just there. I've actually wore this a lot this week like at school and everything and then I'm going to apply two mascaras. First of all, I'm going to apply my number 7 360 and um, my sporty fabulous lash thing. I forgot to say, if you want to apply some lashes, go ahead, but I think I see false lashes, my eyelashes are long anyway. So here's the finish. Here it is. All products were listed down below as usual. Now for lips, I'm thinking of going a bit dark, so let me get my lipstick. You need to dun, 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 on. Now first of all, I'm going to line my lips using this liner. I'm going to do it off camera because I don't want to do it off camera. Now obviously you can leave it as this if you want a nude lip, but um, the liner actually came with the lipstick. The Makeup Revolution lipstick in Here is actually how pigmented it is. Oh my god. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this look and tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you want me to do any more chat more chatty ones, just comment down below.